Hey, you badass business owners. Today, I want to talk about something that was pretty cool. I watched two very young entrepreneurs. I'm talking probably seven and nine that had a little business. And what they did is they had uh, a shelf inside of a business and you basically put uh, candy and chips and all that. And then there's this uh, jar for people to pay money. And you know, like the chips are 75 cents and the candy bars are like $1.50. Nothing too crazy or whatnot. But what I loved about this is the fact that these two little entrepreneurs were doing everything themselves. Their father takes them to the business. They go in, they stock it, they collect the money and whatnot. And it's it's fun watching them because I'm listening to them as they're stocking it. And they're just talking about, oh, no, we need to do this. This looks better this way. Oh, my gosh, look at how much money we made. You know, because what happens typically is if the business knows that it's young kids, they're going to overpay for stuff. If the chips are 75, they're getting a buck. Besides, how many times do you have, you know, three quarters in your pocket? Or are you really going to reach in and grab the, the quarterback? They're going to give them that. But I'm like thinking to myself going, you know what? These two little kids are earning a pretty decent money because I know the one at our office is just full of money every single time that they come in. And what's fun is knowing that one of those two, if not both, are going to be entrepre- have an entrepreneurial spirit when they get older. And the odds are they might even own their own business. And the fact that dad is letting them do it, and I'm sure they have a recap and whatnot at the end of the day when they come home after they stock, but it's these kids' full responsibility. And I I just thought back to, you know, what gave me part of my work ethic. And I remember it was going to work with my mom. Every Sunday, I could go to work with her and I could help her stock the shelves. She worked in one of those bread stores and I would help stock the shelves and whatnot and ask questions and I get to help price things and whatnot. And it really got that that, that bug inside of me about being not only a great uh, employee and having great work ethic, but how neat it would be because we would act like it was our own store and what would we do kind of a thing. And, you know, when I'm, I'm watching these kids and I'm thinking to myself going, wow, if we could just find ways to do this, it's, it's just like those little kids that have the lemonade stand. Or, you know, I was talking to someone the other day and they were sharing about when they were a kid, what they would do is they would go buy a bag of lollipops and suckers and they would go to school and they would sell the suckers for like a quarter each to the kids and they would make all kinds of money and then they would turn around and buy more suckers. So they would pocket some of the money and they would buy more suckers and take them back to school. And I'm like, well, what made you stop doing it? I got busted by the teachers because I wasn't supposed to be doing this. But once again, he's a business owner today and this is what he did. Uh, and I've actually heard something similar to that where kids will buy uh, bubble gum or buy different things, contraband items, if you will, that uh, to us seems kind of silly. But the, the kids would turn around and they would sell it. And you see it on TV sometimes when they're doing uh, movies and stuff about how people did these kinds of things. You know, what a great opportunity, for example, for those kids that I started off talking about earlier, you know, to bring them home and talk about the money and talk about their inventory and and keeping track of it. I don't know if they're going that far. And if they're not, they're missing a great opportunity to teach them some really good skills about inventory management. But let's just say that they do have those conversations. What another great layer to add on. And since all of you are out there, uh, are business owners, because otherwise it'd be silly for you to be listening. But if you own a business, you know, do you have young children? Do you take them to work with you? Do you show them how the business runs? What a great time to teach them these skills early on in their, their lives. Because even if they don't own their own business, I mean, the business skills alone that they could take even to their own, let's just say they go work for a big box retailer or a big company, they're already going into it with that mindset and it's going to help them be light years ahead of everybody else. When I was a store manager, I used to uh, teach my department supervisors and my assistant managers all like a level up. I would teach them the next level of what they need to know. So if they were a department supervisor, I taught them like an assistant manager, an assistant manager like a store manager. And I I remember they would go to these meetings and people would go, they would come back and they'd be like so upset going, God, these people are dumb. They don't know this. They don't know this. They don't know that. I don't understand why they're getting promoted and why they're doing this. I said, because it's the highest level they have within their own store. I want you guys going out being far superior. You guys are going to go out and be light years ahead of them so that when you become assistant managers with them, for example, you're going to be the best assistant manager because you know how to be an assistant manager from the get-go and you can start training yourself how to be a store manager 
manager. Same thing with my assistants to a store manager. I wanted them to have those knowledge. I wanted them to have those skill sets to make them that much better. And, you know, same thing happens within business. If I had kids, I, and I've done this with actually my nephews and nieces, I personally don't have any kids, but I have a few nephews and nieces that would stay with me during the summers and stuff like that. I would always teach them business skills. And I would teach them different things that were going to help them out in the world when they got bigger and older of how to be, think like a business. And one of my nephews has his own business and he's been building that. And that's amazing. So I just... I just wanted to share how it warmed my heart watching these two little kids and knowing that these were future badass business owners in the making. And I was just curious how many of you guys are developing and creating badass business owners for the future in your life, people that are maybe going to take over your business or create their own business, whatever that is. So uh, this one's going to be short and sweet this week because it was just something I wanted to share. Uh, it's just fun watching, knowing what these kids are going to, the opportunities that they're going to have, and they're not going to be dependent on other people because they're going to know how to get out there and they're going to know how to hustle and create things. So just really cool, really awesome. All right, with that, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you on the next episode. Hey, badass business owner, before you go, as you know, I'm a huge believer in you knowing your business numbers. After all, it isn't about how much you sell. It's about what you keep. And the best way to grow your profits is to start diving in and understanding those business numbers. To help you on this journey, I have created the Know Your Business Numbers course. We will walk through how to read your profit and loss statement. You'll learn the key calculations that'll help ensure that you're making a healthy profit on all of your products or services, plus a ton of other good stuff that'll help you learn how to use those business numbers to create even more sales and profits. Just check out the link below in the show notes or visit knowyourbusinessnumberscourse.com. So if you're ready to increase those profits, it's time you start diving into your business numbers.